สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Today is Tuesday, May 31st. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by p b c p h u k e t s c o m The heavy weather warning for Phuket is being extended through to Thursday, June 2nd, and the Phuket Marine Office and the Thai Meteorological Department stating that heavy rain and strong winds will continue to cause dangerous squalls in the waters around the island. The extension of the weather warning is the seventh such advisory since last Thursday by the Thai Meteorological Department for Phuket and the rest of the Andaman coast, with small boats being urged to stay ashore until Thursday and all vessel operators told to closely monitor weather warnings. Wind waves are forecast to continue to reach up to three meters high in thunderstorm areas. Meanwhile, lifeguards at all main beaches on the island have posted red flags that indicate the water is too strong to swim in. And they've been posted in different beaches around the island in different areas. Beachgoers are being urged to swim only in areas where they see yellow red flags. The Andaman coast has seen heavy rain and strong winds for several days, and it's even caused 18 shipping containers to be swept overboard from a barge en route from Trang Province to Malaysia's Penang Island on Sunday. Five of the 18 shipping containers were found washed up on Koh Sarai off mainland Satun. While eight more shipping containers were spotted by trawlers off the coast of Langkawi in Malaysia, officials say the strong winds and high waves caused the containers to fall into the water. All of them are filled with processed rubber wood, according to marine officials. The shipping companies responsible for the containers have dispatched tugboats to locate and haul the remaining containers, with authorities altering other ships to beware of floating objects amid the unfriendly weather conditions in the Andaman Sea. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. The first law ever in Thailand that deals with personal data protection will be implemented on Wednesday, June 1st, after it was postponed twice since 2019. But some in the private sector are concerned that several businesses nationwide won't be able to comply yet due to the pandemic. The Personal Data Protection Act, or the PDPA, was published in the Royal Gazette in May of 2019. And it had a one-year grace period for all stakeholders to adjust to the new law. It's already been postponed twice because of the pandemic, but now the government is set to go ahead and allow the law to go into effect and start enforcement on June 1st, amid calls from those in the business sector to delay the enforcement, saying many in the private sector are not prepared, especially small businesses, due to the impact of the COVID pandemic. Thailand's PDPA is based on a similar piece of legislation from the European Union, which came into effect in 2016. Under this law, personal data includes name, date of birth, phone number, home address, email address, ID card number, passport number, educational and financial information, weight, height, medical and criminal records, fingerprints, and facial and iris patterns. Without explicit consent from the data owner. Any collection of personal information on racial or ethnic origin, political opinions, cult, religious or philosophical beliefs, sexual behavior, criminal records, health data, disability, trade union information, generic data, and biometrics is prohibited. The PDPA mandates that data controllers and processors who use personal data must receive consent from data owners and use it only for express purposes. And data owners have the right to request access to their personal data and demand their personal data be erased. And they also have the right to object to the collection, usage, or disclosure of their personal data. Data controllers are obliged to provide appropriate security measures and notify data breaches to the Personal Data Protection Committee Office within 72 hours. They are obliged to prevent other people who receive personal data from using or disclosing it unlawfully or without authority. Fraudulent use or disclosure of personal data carries a max prison term of six months or a fine of up to 500,000 baht. Illegal abuse of personal data carries up to one year in jail or a fine of as much as 1 million baht. The data privacy law also imposes administrative fines ranging from 500,000 to 1 million baht and allows the damaged party to pursue civil action for compensation. For more, visit the links in the description.
over 1,200 former workers of a factory that produced lingerie for Victoria's Secret, they're now breathing a sigh of relief after news broke that they will finally receive over 282 million baht in compensation that they should have gotten when the factory went bankrupt in March of last year. The brilliant Alliance Thai Global Factory in Samuprakan Province shut down in March of 2021. And just like that, 1,250 workers were out of a job. The factory had produced lingerie for Victoria's Secret, but the workers were not only told to leave the factory floor, but they were never given their severance pay, which is mandated by Thai law. The factory owner, Clover Group, which is based in Hong Kong, they were told by the government to pay the workers within 30 days, but they refused, saying they had no money and to wait 10 years to pay the full amount. Well, the workers' case was taken up by the U.S.-based Workers' Rights Advocacy Group, the Solidarity Center, along with the Workers' Rights Consortium, which engaged with Victoria's Secret and their parent company, Sycamore, pressuring them to ensure the workers were paid. And it worked. Reports say that a loan agreement has been made between Victoria's Secret and the owner of Brilliant Alliance Thai Global Factory on an $8.3 million settlement, or 282 million baht, for the workers who were sacked at the Samuprakan factory in March of last year. It was initially unclear how much of the settlement Victoria's Secret would actually cover. For more, visit the link in the description. The Royal Thai Army is pointing the finger at smugglers and drug and human traffickers upset over serious crackdowns in their illicit trades of carrying out last week's attack on a marine police station in the deep southern province of Naratiwat that wounded three. Lieutenant General Kriyan Krai Sirak, chief of the 4th Army responsible for the South, says that there was evidence that linked the attack to those smugglers and drug traffickers in the region. Last Wednesday's attack took place at the Takbai Marine Police Station in which the armed militants used pipe bombs and automatic guns to not only attack the station but also topple power poles to block authorities from going after them and having reinforcements deployed to the area. They also scattered spikes on the road for the same reason. A private and two defense volunteers were injured in the ambush attack last Wednesday, which was originally thought to be perpetrated by local insurgents in the area. Lieutenant General Krian Krai said that despite the incident, peace negotiations in the Deep South will continue. For more, visit the link in the description. A small church in Patong is calling for donations to help maintain its campaign of providing much-needed grace packs of essential food items to locals still in need of support due to the lack of income. The pastor at the New Beginnings Calvary Chapel, Patong, on Prabarami Road, Alan Tand, explained that people continue to queue for food handouts, the majority of whom are people who were put out of work or who only work part-time right now. They began collecting food and handing out to people during the beginning of the pandemic and they've continued all throughout, but resources are running out. To learn how you can help, visit simplygiving.com or check the details in the description. Thanks for joining us here on this Tuesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.